energy, a major driving force of India's growing economy. An essential building block of economic development. India's energy consumption is increasing at one of the fastest rates in the world. However, growth in energy supply could not meet the challenges of ever-increasing demand exerted by a rapidly growing population, urbanization and progressing economy, leading to severe shortages. This is further aggravated by an outdated distribution network, coupled with poor commercial practices and rampant power theft, resulting in huge losses. Apart from adding generation capacity, there was an urgent need to revitalize the distribution sector, an important link in the power supply chain. Measures are being taken to reduce the losses through power distribution, making the sector commercially viable and ensuring efficient use of electricity. Distribution reform also is one of the key areas which Ministry of Power has been looking at along with the states. And the, and the primary objective there is ATNC loss reduction because if you uh, supply let's say 100 units of power to the distribution sector and if you realize money for only 70 units, so 30 units are lost. Either they are lost in technical terms or they are lost in commercial terms. So basically we have to address this challenge that how do we ensure that the losses are reduced and there is greater efficiency in the distribution system. To accelerate the implementation of these reforms and to improve the last mile distribution, the Ministry of Power, Government of India, along with United States Agency for International Development, USAID, launched the Distribution Reform Upgrades and Management DRUM program in the year 2004. The objective was to create a model distribution system to demonstrate best commercial and technological practices and to build capacity. What the Government of India and USAID have done is designed a project together that really tries to get at that issue of energy efficiency and how do we expand the more efficient use of energy. Um, one of the most comp important components of the program has been um, establishing centers of excellence as well as some of these distribution efficiencies and models. We, we hope that um, we can demonstrate to the government of India that these, are, these can be applied more broadly. India has one of the largest distribution networks spread over rural and urban areas. The challenge was to identify region-specific best practices. A pilot site each from three different regions of the nation was selected. Maharashtra State Electricity Distribution Company Limited, MSEDCL, Aurangabad, Madhya Gujarat Vij Company Limited, MGVCL, Umrate, and Bangalore Electricity Supply Company Limited, Bescom, Doda Ballapur, consisting of one urban and two rural distribution areas. With inflated technical and commercial losses at each site, the formidable task ahead was to identify the best desired practices and to create centers of excellence. A detailed project report involving international consultants was prepared for each site, identifying best practices specific to the particular site requirement. Once identified, various challenges and possible solutions by way of technical and cutting-edge technologies, best commercial practices and behavioral training of employees were implemented at each site. DRUM has three components. The first one focused on building the center of excellence under the pilot component. The second component focused on the training, building the capacity of professionals from distribution utilities, as well as putting in place a training mechanism. The third one focused on building a partnership between US and Indian institutions. So we established a partnership with RUS, Rural Utilities Services, in order to exchange best practices in distribution sector. Subsequently, we also added component on renewable energy and smart grid, just to keep pace with the development in the power sector. Maharashtra State Electricity Distribution Company, MSEDCL Aurangabad, the urban distribution site under the DRUM project caters to one of the fastest growing cities in the state. With an outdated distribution network and power theft rampant, it is a formidable challenge to ensure a reliable power supply to more than 1 lakh consumers spread over 150 square kilometers. Urban Division 1 ka ye jo area hai, wo most of jada se jada area purana Aurangabad ka area hai. Aur yahan par us time ka jo existence infrastructure jo tha, 
वो काफ़ी ओल्ड हुआ था बीस या पच्चीस साल का उसका एज था छावनी और वालूज एरिया में लोड ग्रोथ का रेट फास्ट था ऐसे चैलेंजेस से इसीलिए अर्बन डिवीजन वन ड्रम प्रोजेक्ट के लिए चुना गया था To address these challenges, various infrastructural upgradation and innovative technologies were implemented. Ten new 33 by 11 kV substations were added to the existing five to keep pace with the increasing demand and to improve the reliability of power supply. Abhi nawa substation jo Roshan Gate mein bana hai drum project mein, to usse hamar ko yani bhot faida hua. Har ghante mein pehle jo light jaati thi abhi महीना महीना भर लाइट जाती नहीं। To reduce the power theft and frequent blowing of fuses, a network of high voltage distribution systems (HVDS) was established in 32 theft-prone areas in the city. This helped stabilize and ensure a regular power supply, with a steady rise in the number of new connections. Innovative technologies under the breakthrough projects. Including 372 fault passage indicators and 1,500 polymeric surge arresters were installed. This has not only reduced the fault finding time, but also proved effective in restoring the power supply faster, as compared to the rest of the areas in the city, as witnessed during the storm of summer 2009. Thousands of old electromechanical meters were also replaced. With new electronic meters installed outside consumers' residence, the initiative led to a drastic reduction in the commercial losses, and is today being replicated at other sites of MSEDCL. With results reflecting an amazing success, MSEDCL Aurangabad Division One is today setting the trends. All these parameters which you have attained, which you have gained after this drum project. they are at the some of the international levels so i can say it is a model city which we have developed as far as the electricity distribution part is concerned located in anand district of gujarat madhya gujarat which company limited mgbcl umrate caters to more than 55000 consumers spread over an area of 226 square kilometers a challenging rural site was selected for the implementation of the drum program the old existing infrastructure and electrical network were fully refurbished a customer care center facilitated with round the clock anytime payment machines and longer working hours at collection desk has helped improve customer relations tv machine thi grahako ne gano fayde joye the varsh pehlo aa system hati nahi अरे अत्य गमे तेरे लोग ने अर्जेंट बाहर जव हो तो ये पैसा भरी सके नौकरियात ने वह जव हो तो अर्धी रात पैसा एटीपी में भरी सके द प्रीपेड मीटर फॉर द रूरल रेजिडेंशियल एंड कमर्शियल कंस्यूमर्स इज अनादर यूनिक इनिशिएटिव दिस इज इनेबल कस्टमर्स टू मॉनिटर एंड बजट द पावर बिल्स पहला तो ये फायदा हमारा हुआ कि हम वहाँ पर जाके क्रेडिट कूपन ले लेते हैं और उसमें से आके हम ये चार्ज कर लेते हैं ये सब कुछ हमें पता चलता है कि हमारे घर में जो जो जितने भी साधन सामग्री है टीवी है वो सब का हमें पता चलता है कि वो कौन सा करंट कितना खाता है अ कैपेसिटर बैंक ओवर 18 फीडर्स वर आल्सो इंस्टॉल्ड मिनिमाइजिंग द लो वोल्टेज कंप्लेंट्स व्हाइल इंश्योरिंग अ बेटर पावर सप्लाई फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन रूरल इंडिया द जियोग्राफिकल इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम इज बीइंग सक्सेसफुली इंप्लीमेंटेड फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन managing the network digitally and to help reduce the technical and commercial losses automated remote monitoring has also helped reduce quick responses to consumers queries and complaints to sensitize consumers about the importance of rooftop solar generation a 15 kilowatt grid connected solar pv plant was installed on the roof of the consumer care center at umred The innovative technology with solar resource assessment model has helped generate a peak of 12.14 kilowatts. MGPCL Umrate has achieved nearly 90% of its targets and its various learnings from the pilot site are being replicated at other sites of MGPCL. This project uh, as a model we have developed this will implicate not only in MGPCL even in other discoms of Gujarat also. 
Located at the outskirts of Bangalore city, Doda Ballapur Taluk consists of a town and 281 villages spread over an area of 787 square kilometers. Bangalore Electricity Supply Company Limited, Bescom Doda Ballapur, caters to nearly 1 lakh consumers. This rural site was selected for the implementation of the drum project. With increasing demand supply gap, and customer satisfaction at a mere 33.27%. Various technical and ICT interventions, coupled with business process re-engineering, were identified. Infrastructural upgradation, renovation of subdivisions, re-engineering of meter-to-cash cycles, and IT asset management were implemented under the DRUM program. A fully equipped customer care center was also set up with hand-picked staff trained to attend to customer grievances and complaints. Doda Ballapur Taluk with more than 10,000 agricultural consumers. The challenge was to cater to the increasing electricity demand, depriving many of reliable power supply. To help farmers overcome this problem, four agricultural feeders were converted into high voltage distribution system HVDS. On each transformer, electronic meters with AMR were installed to monitor and analyze the agricultural consumption. This has not only helped farmers to use energy efficient pump sets, but also improved their socio-economic conditions due to improvement in tail end voltage level. Modulo old Various interventions under the drum program saw encouraging results. Drum project is implemented in Dodbalapur subdivision, the grassroots level like uh, remote villages. Their uh, low voltage problem is minimized and after implementing the refurbishment work like uh, refurbishment of ST lines, LT lines, distribution transformer centers, interruptions almost minimizes. So they are getting good and quality power supply. To further improve the quality of power, management of demand and preventing the loss, India's first smart grid pilot project is being developed at Bescom. Electronic City is the site that we have selected where about 17,000 customers are being looked targeted for smart grid. We are looking at a total automation in distribution system in the form of smart metering, smart pricing and apart from that the main objective is to go in for demand response. To lead India into the next generation advanced electricity supply solution, smart grid vision has been developed for India's power sector under the USAID's drum program. Dissemination of information and awareness on smart grid technology is being done through conferences and publications involving the stakeholders. The drum program also focuses on improving rural electrification. Inspired by the success of United States Rural Utility Services, a partnership was developed between the Drum Partner Utilities and the U.S. Rural Cooperatives. The objective was to share best international practices and exchange ideas and learnings in developing models to improve rural electrification in India. Best safety practices and structuring of better consumer services and customer relations were also exchanged through the program. There are a number of things in the HR field what we learned from uh, USA. One is about the performance-based management system. And we have introduced the SIG as far as our company is concerned. Our, now all CR system is based on performance. Apart from these landmark initiatives, efforts are also being made to promote clean energy to meet India's rapidly increasing electricity demand. With an objective to develop a market for renewable energy, the DRUM program initiated a study to strengthen the state nodal agencies, policy package and incentive scheme to upgrade and promote SMEs, capacity building for market development 
of 1,000 key stakeholders through 20 workshops, and a model DPR for 5 megawatt solar PV plant at Port Blair for NTPC. Various interventions under the DRUM program resulted in several interesting learnings. While urban utilities are struggling to install the prepaid meters, in one of the rural sites at DRUM, Umrit, 2,000 prepaid meters have been installed very successfully. Similarly, in four agriculture feeders in Bascom, AMR have been installed, which will help not only to record the agriculture energy consumptions, but also in segregating the agriculture consumptions and determining the actual capacity of the pump set. Electronic meters, use of them for replacement of the old mechanical meters is a proven technique for reduction of ATNC losses. But the challenge really lies in selecting the right executing agency. Transformer overloading and balancing plays a critical role in reduction of the transformer failure rates. An important component of the DRUM program was to develop capacity building of the distribution sector to create awareness on best technical and commercial practices and to sensitize utility personnel at all levels to embrace change. More than 33,000 distribution professionals were trained with a network of 20 partner training institutes. An executive postgraduate diploma in power distribution management was introduced at Management Development Institute, MDI, in Gurgaon. Two programs on power distribution through distance learning were launched with Indira Gandhi National Open University IGNU to cover all corners of the country. When the focus was put on distribution, there was no institutionalized structure for training in the distribution sector. DRUM has been able to fill that gap. In total, we have identified about 19 program themes, which I said are more or less classified in, th in three, technical, management and support themes. DRUM was a significant or very successful effort in trying to train the employees or in terms of creating a structure or a mechanism by which these employees could be trained. So having created this structure, now it will be easier. And in fact, we are utilizing this structure for many of the other training programs in RAPDRP also. In terms of uh, the system reliability improvement, some of the fault passage indicators and other uh, uh, interventions which were used in the DRUM program in these pilot projects, they have been allowed as part of the Part B project of RAPDRP, where we are we, we have permitted the states to include fault passage indicators. So to that extent, the learnings have been made use of in our programs and policies. The amazing success of the DRUM program was acknowledged nationally for its innovation and it was awarded the prestigious India Power Award in the year 2010. An effective implementation of power reforms under the DRUM project will pave the way towards making power for all by 2012, a vision set by the Ministry of Power, a reality.